Hello YouTube and welcome back to the channel outside the target demographic. Today we woke up to snow and we're going to be doing a part two on using a space heater to help get you some visibility in the winter. Let's get started. You can see that I did use a broom to knock some of this snow off, but we do have some crystal structures that are shredding my fingers. So. I'm gonna show you, I got a 400 and 600 watt space heater off of Amazon, gonna be a little bit safer, uh, smaller, more directional, and you can use a thinner, longer extension cord without the risk of starting your car on fire. So let's look at what that looks like. It is currently 30 degrees out here, and you can see visibility is not so great. So what we got is this guy. It's about six inches across and what I have found is putting it in between your driver and passenger seat the heat will blow up against the windshield and melt more the place you want higher visibility right versus the last one I showed in a previous video was in the trunk and while it did put out more heat it wasn't directional so you're heating up the whole cabin versus maybe focusing a little bit more on the windshield which uh, you will absolutely be using as opposed to favoring the rear windows which are arguably less important so the other nice thing here is since it is so small and directionable, that's a word. I can put it on the dash and I have, and it has uh, cleared like a triangular pattern as it goes across. I would use the lower 400 watt setting on that. But this is now coming out of your driver's side. And it is far less likely for you to uh, drive away with that connected because one, you can hear it, right? It's right next to you as the driver. And then two, you have the core going into your driver's side door as opposed to putting it in the trunk. So we're gonna let that run for about a half hour and see what it does. We are 30 minutes later and it's kind of weird. It made less of a difference on mine but hers that I plugged in at the same time has, I mean, a third of the window clear. And that's one of the other nice benefits here is my car does not have the eyesight system that hers does. So she has an optical camera here and here, and that's gonna give you the um, driving safety suite kind of thing. So just by having her fan there blowing this is still cold to the touch, just so we're clear. It doesn't blow directly across. It's going to go up with, uh, you know, the heat kind of thing. But you can see we have rolling water. So it is thawing. This is a half hour, so you could probably do 45 minutes or an hour, depending on your uh, environment, your climate, your temperature for the day, all that stuff. But the other nice thing is... As I said, one, it has the optical uh, eyesight system. Two, as a you know, woman, she doesn't have the uh, upper body strength or the reach to get into the center of the window and clear in front of those cameras, which makes her whole safety suite null and void. So by having this running, not only is it going to clear the middle of the windshield first, it's going to make it easier to scrape. It's going to make it easier to get to the... Uh, cameras and get them all cleared off without having to put more effort into it. So we will let that continue to run. On the outside of her car, even though this isn't melted, it, the surface directly in contact with the window is thawed enough that you could just knock that off. So it doesn't require you to scrape as much as to sweep to get the windows more clear than you would have if you didn't have the heater going. And once more, it's not so much about letting it melt all the snow off for you, but even just using the broom, I'm able to sweep that ice and snow and jagged uh, frost off the windshield with just a broom, taking substantially less effort and less likely to injure yourself or slip and fall and all that stuff. And of course the cameras are completely 
clean. Here we are just shy of 40 minutes later. And again, while her windshield seemed to clear a lot easier, just by using the broom, instead of actively having to scrape the windshield, I can get that all nice and clean. It also helps to get your hood cleared off as well. Also, your headlights are here. You might as well do it. Don't get all the way down. You want to knock off the loose snow. You don't want to scratch up your paint job. But you can see that just comes right off with minimal effort. So I would probably do for the smaller wattage ones. I have this one set to 600 watts. Maybe an hour before you need to leave. It's not going to shatter your windshield at that distance, but uh, made it substantially easier to do than the scraping of the windows that I've already done on the rest of the car. And a full hour later, this stuff is just going to slick right off. So, very nice. Uh, you'll notice too, in the center, there is no water. It's just all rolled off. So... You have a couple different ways you can use it if you you know uh, overslept your alarm or something like that run it for 20 30 minutes it will make it where you can just sweep the stuff off versus having to scrape it wait a full hour and you'll just be able to knock this stuff off and it'll prevent any accumulating snow that's currently falling from sticking to the windshield so that's what we have for today. As always, this is Outside the Target Demographic. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Any questions, comments, concerns you have, leave them in the comment section down below. And I will catch you guys next time.